building an alliance to defend ourselves. Darkseid, the Atom, Martian Manhunter, Zack Snyder's Justice League builds out this interconnected DC universe. Which of these lost elements were you most excited to see restored? You know, because I haven't seen the theatrical version of the movie and how it ended up, I was never really sure, and I'm still not, maybe at some point I'll take a look at it, but I'm still not exactly sure like what roles were maybe diminished or removed. Of course, I think number one on the list is, you know, for me is Ray Fisher's cyborg story being really central to the, you know, sort of entire movie. Every day I wake up different, modified. I feel like in the shorter version, you got a snapshot of who they were. And I think in order to care about them at the end, in order for their arcs to be completed, you have to understand really what their conflicts were, what they went through to finally become the heroes that we see at the end of the movie. Cyborgs become the emotional just spine of your film. Did you always conceive him as the heart of your Justice League? Yeah, we did. And Chris Terrio and I, from the beginning, we're always like, we wanted Cyborg to really be front and center. We thought it was time for a character like Cyborg to have his day in the sun, frankly. You know, the character really goes on a big journey, you know, and goes through a lot of pain, but like has a cathartic experience, very similar to maybe the story of how the movie got made and finished. You can't bring down the charging bull and don't wave the red cape at it. I think the hard thing without even judgment on the movie was to just sit in the theater and watch it for the first time because it just wasn't what we set out to do. It wasn't Zach's vision. It was so vastly different, which is why I can't believe and I'm so excited that we actually do get to finish this vision, which didn't seem, you know, like if that would ever gonna happen. You know, I still can't believe it as we sit here today. As producer, you've seen both versions, obviously, while director Zack Snyder has not. Um, he actually told us that he might be open to watching it now, uh, but you had worried at the time that it could actually break his heart if he would see that version. When you work so hard, and I think for both Zack and I, it's very personal. You're spending years, and I mean, we've spent, you know, 11 years working with these characters. So you're super invested. And I think when you see things that are very different, you know, it's hard to do. And I, I just felt like he didn't need to see it. I think now having completed his vision of the film and where we sit now, it, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a different story because it's a story that actually got told. Um, so who knows, maybe he will someday. Ah!